All right, here we are again. I am a little bit late on this week's video because I am on vacation, and so I apologize for the delay, but here are what sold last week. This, I'm going to do all the $5 stuff that I marked down first. So this is a green scope for golfing. Um, I've had this for a while. See, so you can determine, like, I guess yards or whatever. I don't know how golf works, but it's a yard scope or a green scope it sold for five bucks. A Cincinnati Bengals shirt sold for five bucks. Um, a winter coat, a wool coat by Gap Kids, um, that sold for five bucks. And a pair of Nike swim trunks sold for five bucks. This, um, I sold a bunch of international stuff this week too. Um, this was an Australian buyer and for whatever reason he couldn't we couldn't get the shipping to combine on these three separate plates. They were all separate auctions, but um I had to combine them because shipping was all screwed up. But sold the three plates for $75. They went to Australia, like I said. This North Face winter coat went to Ukraine. That sold for 70 bucks. And this light meter for photography and filmmaking, um, this sold for 30 bucks and went to Canada. Now, this um, light meter, the uh, battery on there is no longer, um, you can no longer buy those in the United States because they're made with mercury. So I did find an article online and I sent that in the package and I did disclose it in the description also. Um, like right here I said I have a, an article which explains how to hack that battery issue but um, still it sold. That was good. This is a pair of kids skis by Elon. Um, I took a best offer on these for $20 because they're kind of, they just take up a lot of room. So I had them listed for 30, sold them for 20, and that was pretty okay. I had this leather biker vest by Wilson's. Um, it had some loose buttons and I disclosed that in the description and still sold it quite successfully for 25. This was a huge mistake on my part. A woman bought these bowling shoes from me, and I sent her the wrong pair of bowling shoes. Like, not even close to these. I sent her this old 1970s pair that were kind of cool looking. And she got them, and she was very confused, but she was super nice. So she's sending those back to me right now, and as soon as I'm back from vacation, I'm going to send these out to her. I did refund her in full and sent her a new... um postage label so she could send back the other shoes to me. She was super nice and very understanding. So yay for that. Um, this uh, is a Frontier Airlines neck scarf for a flight attendant. And this I actually sold back in April to a buyer in China, but for whatever reason I could not send it to China. So she wanted to purchase it when she was going to be in the U.S. in August. No response from her, so I relisted it with just this one crappy picture. I did not, I was, my intention was to take new pictures and post them, but I never got around to it, but she still bought it for 20 bucks, so that was good. I sold this little Lion by Washburn guitar speaker for 30 bucks. A pair of vintage leather gloves that are lined with rabbit fur. They sold for $25. I had these two Lily Pulitzer shirts, this kind of long tunic one, and then this pretty eyelet one, and I lotted them together, and they both sold together for $30. This, ugh, this one, a pair of vintage 1980s Ray-Bans. Um, I was very, very explicit in my description of these glasses right here. Um, where is it? Oh, down here. Um, the gold color is worn on the bridge of the nose and the screw is missing. Made it very, very clear in the listing, not in tiny letters at all. 
made it very clear in the photos that as you can see right there the screw is missing and the buyer made an offer for $85 I had it listed for 150 I gave him a huge discount and he still wrote to me complaining that he was unhappy because of the screw and because of this and that and I'm just like you know what whatever I, you can send it back if you want and he said too too late for that I already spent $31 to have them repaired and so I looked at his profile and he is a habitual negative feedback lever so he hasn't left me negative feedback yet however um, he did voice his uh, dissatisfaction with the item and I just don't understand why people bother to purchase used items on eBay if they are constantly unhappy with them Ugh, makes me so aggravated so he was my kind of trouble customer this week this is a vintage L.L. Bean wool blanket that I sold for $99 that buyer was very happy so that makes me happy this is a Jan Bullis hockey jersey um, from the Czechoslovakian, I don't know if it was Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia, um, their uh, national team that sold for 30 bucks. And a Faribo blanket. These are just acrylic blankets with fringy ends. They're really soft and snuggly. Um, and I always sell them quite easily. This one sold for 25 bucks. And that is it. That's my sales for the week. So I will have another video up soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.